Hey guys, this is Shayan and this video is introduction to graph theory. Okay, first we need to discuss what is a graph. So this is the first problem. Well, a graph is a structure consists of n vertices and m edges. So what are the vertices and what are the edges? Well, vertices are like points and edges are like lines between them. So each edge connects two of these points, aka vertices. So each edge will connect two of them. So this is a graph. This is an instance of a graph. So this is the first thing that you need to keep in mind. A graph consists of n vertices and m edges. And vertices are the points and edges are the lines between two of the points. Okay, but why? What is the meaning of a graph? How is it useful? Well, a graph is mostly used for modeling. For instance, we can model a country by a graph. We can show each of the cities by a point, by a vertex. And the edges can be the roads between the cities. For example, this is city uh, A, this is city B, this is city C, D, E, F. And we can assume that between city A and E there is a road, between city A and F there is a road, between city B and D, B and C, D and E, B and E, and A and C. It's like we have roads between these cities. So this is mostly used uh, for problems in real world that are about, for example, transportation. We use graphs to model a country, a city. We model the roads with the edges. And we try to solve the problem using this abstract mathematical instance that we made. It also has other usages as well. For instance, Google's PageRank algorithm uses graph theory. So graph theory is a massive topic in mathematics and computer science. And it is so important and it has a lot of usage in the real world. Now, there are two types of graphs that I can mention. One type is weighted graphs and one is unweighted graphs. Well, unweighted graphs and weighted graphs, their only difference is that in the weighted graphs, we have a weight on each edge. So for instance, in this example that I wrote earlier, I can say that for instance, the length of this edge is three, the weight of this edge is three. The weight of this edge is 5, the weight of this edge is 1, the weight of this edge is 6, this is 7, this is 4, this is again 5, and this is 10. So in a weighted graph, each edge has a weight. The reason behind that is that for, for the case that I mentioned to you, for instance, we want to model a country, we can just write the length of each road on the edge corresponding to that road. For example, we can say that it's like it's three kilometers between uh, cities A and F, for example. So the weight on A can show uh, the length of that road. So this is why we use weighted graphs. On the other hand, unweighted graphs are the graphs that they don't have any weight on their edges. So the weight of all the edges are one. So if the graph is unweighted, if it's not weighted, the weight of each edge is one. And there is uh, no difference between two different edges. We see all the edges with equal lengths. The weight of all of them or the length of all of them is equal to one. So this is a very important to keep in mind. We have two types of graph, weighted and unweighted. There is also another way to classify graphs and we can say that graphs are in two categories, directed graphs and undirected graphs. 
Well, the difference between these two types of graphs, directed graphs and undirected graphs, is that in a directed graph, when we have an edge between vertices A and B, we say that this edge is only from vertex A to vertex B. So using this edge, we can go from A to B, but we cannot use it to go from B to A. So again, it's like a one-way road. It's like between two cities, we have a road, but it is one way. For example, if we have three cities like this, we have a road between A and B, and we can go from A to B, we can go from B to C, we can go from C to B, and we can go from C to A. So if we start from A, we can go to B directly. But if we want to go from B to A, we should go first to C and then from C we can go to A. We cannot use this route because this route is directed from A to B and it can only be used in that direction and not vice versa. On the other hand, we have undirected graphs. An undirected graph is a graph that its edges have no directions. So for each edge like this, for each edge, I can use this in two ways, in both ways. It's like all of the rows are two ways. So I guess you have some idea now about how the graphs are used in modeling. We are uh, taking care of all the cases, directed, undirected, weighted, unweighted. So it's like we have four types of graphs now, based on what I said. It is either directed, and weighted, which can be, for instance, this graph between these three cities from A, this is A, this is B, this is C. From A to C, we have an edge of weight three. From B to C, we have an edge of weight two. From A to B, we have an edge of weight four. So this is a weighted directed graph. It can be undirected and weighted, which can be the same graph, we just remove the directions. We can have a directed and unweighted graph. And also we can have an undirected and unweighted graph. So all of them can be like the first graph, for example, if it is undirected and weighted, I can have the graph like this between A and B is an a, between A and C is an uh, edge uh, with weight three. This is four. This is two. But it is undirected. Again, when it is directed and unweighted, it can be the first uh, graph only will remove the weights with the weights. And if it is undirected and unweighted, it can be again the first graph with both remove the weights and the directions. So these are the types that we can have. Now I recommend you to watch my next video about graph properties in which I will talk more about graphs. So see you in the next video. Thanks.